Seven Ways to Prepare for Ramadan The companions of the Prophet used to prepare for Ramadan six months in advance. If we really want to make the best of this Ramadan, then we need to prepare for it now. As we know, fasting is more than just abstaining from food, but also from indecent speech and lustful desires as well. In this video, we will discuss how we can improve on different aspects of our life so we can fully benefit from Ramadan a time when deeds are multiplied. Number one, fast voluntarily. This month, Shabban, is the prime time to start fasting those extra days or making up your missed days from last Ramadan. Usama ibn Zayd, may Allah be pleased with him, said, O Messenger of Allah, I do not see you fasting in any other month like you fast in Shabban. He replied, That is a month to which people do not pay attention between Rajab and Ramadan. And it is a month in which deeds are lifted up to Allah. I like for my deeds to be lifted up when I am fasting. The best way to prepare fasting for a whole month is to start fasting often in order to gain control over your actions, stomach, and desires. Fast on Mondays and Thursdays. Abu Huraira reported that the most a Prophet would fast would be Monday and Thursday. He was asked about this and he said, The deeds of people are presented to Allah on every Monday and Thursday. Fast the white days, 13th, 14th, and 15th of each Islamic month. Abu Sar al Ghifari said, The Messenger of Allah said, O oh Abu Zar, if you fast three days of every month, then fast the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Number 2. Recite and reflect upon the Qur'an. Begin now to reflect on portions of the Qur'an to get closer to Allah and understand your responsibilities. Every single time you read the Qur'an, you will uncover more depth of meaning and benefit in this world and the hereafter. Number three, follow the sunnah and pray extra prayers. Learn more about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and follow him by emulating his actions. Say, O Muhammad, if you should love Allah, then follow me, so Allah will love you and forgive you your sins, and Allah is forgiving and merciful.
Number four, repent and make dua. We all make mistakes, but alhamdulillah, we can always repent. The Prophet said, All the children of Adam constantly err, but the best of those who constantly err are those who constantly repent. Number 5. Give Charity This world can only be a better place if we help each other. In return, Allah rewards us in both worlds. The Messenger said, Allah is in the aid of His servants as long as His aid is in the assistance of others. And he also said, Who is it that would loan Allah a goodly loan, so he will multiply for him, and he will have a noble reward? Number 6. Improve your character. Everyone can be a little bit more kind and work on different aspects of their character. The Prophet used to say, The best amongst you are those who have the best manners and character. Number 7. Eat healthy and moderately. With less time to eat in Ramadan, we really need to pay attention to what we eat. Now is the best time to research the nutritious value of the food we eat. While we fast, the food we eat before we start our fast or to break our fast needs to provide the optimal energy so we can accomplish our daily tasks and increase our worship. Overeating as well is hazardous. Ash Shafi said, I have not filled myself in 16 years because filling oneself makes the body heavy and removes clean understanding, induces sleep, and makes one weak for worship. In order to take full advantage of this holy month, we need to prepare ourselves spiritually, mentally, and physically. Inshallah, if we constantly try to improve ourselves, then when we reach Ramadan, we will be able to easily move to the next level spiritually.